What's up guys, welcome back. So this is my original Apple Watch Ultra 1 and what you are seeing here is a new watch face that I've added. You can see that when it comes to this watch face, it has the most information that's ever been depicted on a watch face. For once, you can see shows me the current weather, it shows me the current condition, it's foggy and it shows me what tomorrow is going to be. We'll go here, you can see another one that is themed orange. I added this just to go with the side action button. You can see it there, shows me temperature, low, high, and then it shows me the wind as well. And then these are like workouts and it also shows me the current percentage of my Apple Watch. You have another watch face that's here and it's more towards heartbeats where it shows you your heart rate and average heart rate per minute and it shows you also workout rings as well. We'll go here and then I'll show you some that are animated. You can see if I lower my wrist and raise it up. Well, for now I have to tap the screen because there's a setting I need to enable. You can see for this one, if I tap the screen, it shows this cool Apple animation. And if I go and add like a different one, for example, this one and just tap the screen, you can see it has this like mechanical clock that shows the gears moving. And it's a pretty cool new watch face that's here and I've managed to find quite a lot. And these are now the normal watch faces that we are used to when it comes to the Apple Watch and watchOS. So the way I was able to get these watch faces, I was actually browsing through my phone on my iPhone. And when I saw an ad that talked about the watch face, it actually showed it on this. And if you go to the app store on my device, here it was this app so it was an ad that popped up in the app store and it's called watch face gallery number one when you open it right there you can see it loads up pretty quick and they have editor's choice some of the watch faces that i showed you here you can see them right there and also if you go to like editor's choice, you can be able to browse some of the different faces that are there and different animations. Some of them utilize different Apple Watch things like photos, the modular max, modular ultra, modular duo. And you can see here some that you have under editor's face. You can see scary X mass. You can see some that are there. And then these are some of the popular ones you can see here some that you can add and basically if you have a watch face that you like this one is the one that i added to my watch face right there you see how it looks pretty good and uh, it does have a downside to this so we'll get to the downside and let's just do a demo just to show you how you can add a watch face to your device so for example if we wanted to add let's see which other cool one like this watch face right here it's uh, under the g watch face you click on it and then once you reach on the watch face just click where it says add face to watch right there and then it says live watch face guide turn off always on display on your apple watch for proper animation of live watch face and the reason why they are telling us this is because this is a photos watch face so i can tell that it's going to be using the photos watch face and then adding this so for us to always turn off always on we do the show tutorial on how you can turn off watch face and they take you through some of the steps but here on your apple watch if you go into your settings right there and then you go to where it says display and uh display and brightness and turn on off always on display right there now always on display is off and now we'll go ahead and add this watch face notice it's loading and now it's added it to our watch face we'll say add and if we select it we can be able to go into our watch face and you can see that this watch face has been added. Now, because we disabled always on display, if we lower our risk and raise it up again, you can see it adds this cool animation. Again, lower, raise up, it adds this cool watch face animation and it's pretty good, but for it to be able to show you that animation, the downside, you can see that you had to turn off always on display. So if you haven't watched that has or supports always on display, that's not a good thing, right? So if you turn off always on display and you want to show this animation, it won't work because always on display is on and this, if you click and hold on it, you can see that it's a cool animation, but it's using the photos watch face. It's almost as if it's a GIF. So right there, you can see. And now for you to be able to see the animation, you have to actually tap on the watch face right there. And that's when you'll be able to see the animation. So that goes for all the new photos watch faces that I hear 
in the watch face or in this new watch face application that utilize the photos you have to disable always on display to be able to see the cool animations but if you have a watch face that has information that's pretty cool or you want to be able to show different information for example if we add um let's look for a different watch face here and uh i think which one looks cool um it's hard to find because there's so many watch faces look at all this selection that we have here so uh here i'll go to the top one since the the selling watch faces are on top right there and for example we'll, we'll try and add this watch face and then we'll go ahead and say add to watch face and now we we'll say add to my watch face and you can see this one is using the modular dual watch face to be able to add the different information and what i notice is a downside to this watch face or this watch face application is that when there's a new watch face this one showed up pretty quick but when you add a new watch face that has a lot of information you can see here that sometimes it takes long to be able to load the initial setup of the watch face and also the information is always isn't always current so for example you can see here it says that it's four degrees but if we go into the weather app we'll go into the weather app right here it shows four degrees so right now it's on par with the actual weather app and you can see it says my watch is on 97 percent so if we want to see my percentage you can see here it's on 79 percent so it got things twisted the other way around and also i noticed that it's always not ex it's most of the times when i checked it because i've been using it for almost a month testing this watch face application it's always like two steps behind or two percent behind the actual percentage but you can see now my battery is on 78 percent but now you notice here it's on 80 97 percent so not always accurate and what it's good at is just the visual presentation of your watch to show you the date as well as the time that it always gets right as well as the seconds but when it comes to the different complications that you have like your steps your calories or your heart rate it's not always current and that's a downside to this app for example if i go to this modular dual watch face that i added here that has a ton ton of information some of these i can guarantee you if i was to go into my fitness application you'll be able to see that there's going to be a big difference with what i see here and what the watch face is showing so that's a little bit of unfortunate you can see when it comes to my moves i have uh, 147 right here it's showing 147 which is pretty good and then when it comes to exercises and the steps that i have it's showing 3000 402 but on here you can see it's showing 3380 so again it's a bit off but this is the app that i've been using to add the different watch faces to my device it's called watch faces and if you want to check it out i'll leave it in the description of this video i had to pay 11 dollars to unlock some of the watch faces that are shown here but let me know what you think about this watch faces if it's uh more of a visual representation or aesthetic change for the watch face would this be something that you want to try on your apple watch or since the information is sometimes a bit off would this be something that you are going to pass so that's about it for me guys when it comes to this application and the different watch faces that it has let me know if you're going to be trying it out and uh stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace